At times, um, I, I think kind of going to the game, we understood that a lot of the fans out here were just the fans, fans of the NFL, fans of this, some of their favorite players. And so I think just on each side, it was, you know, just rooting for big plays and things like that. So, but I did see a lot of Titans fans in the building. So definitely appreciate those guys coming out and supporting us. Is there panic is not a word you throw around by in the locker room, but at what point do you start to worry about this season? Do you kind of the juncture with the, the bye? What's kind of the, the mentality in that locker room trying to regroup for the next week? Guys are frustrated. You know, you put a lot of time into this game, time into the week, preparing to go out there and play. And when you don't play well, it's very frustrating, you know, especially coming off two straight losses. Uh, yeah, it's very frustrating. So I kind of been speaking about it, trying to string together some wins, and it's just not happening right now. We're not playing well on on none, no sides of the ball, honestly. You know, it's, it's, it's not a finger-pointing type deal, you know, as defense, you know, as myself as a captain, got to make more plays. And, um, you know, that's the way we win ball games. So our best players got to play well. And, um, you know, I don't think any of us is playing well enough to win right now. Did the bye get a good opportunity to kind of just step away collectively, get some time apart before you guys try to figure out how to move forward? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously got an early bye. To be honest, I mean, I don't even really want to go into a bye right now. I want to be able to get back into the building, get back to work. But, you know, that's the way the schedule is. So, you know, we'll take some time off, guys. You know, you got some guys that's injured uh, that need some rest. And But I'm going to try to stay in it, try to see what I can do to try to, you know, help this team out and, and you know, make some more plays. Honestly, that's kind of something I've been thinking about the entire game. Just want to be able to go out there and make more plays and uh, try to help this team get some, get some wins. I'm paraphrasing, but Vrabel said there may be some things that can't be corrected. What's that feel like to know the coach feels that way and, and about the state of this team? How do you feel about the state of this team? Because it does seem like there's some things, Kevin, that, that are repeating on a constant level. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what he meant when he said some things that aren't correctable. Um, you know, I just think just for myself and just speaking for myself, there are things that I can do better, 100%, and I think that everybody can say that, uh, you know, across the board. So. Um, it's going to be a tough film session when we get back, uh, watching the film and, and, and getting some corrections. But, uh, you know, the the sense of urgency for this team is – it was already at an all-time high. And, um, you know, all we could do is try to get back to work. I mean, the guys who we have on this team, the guys we have on this roster, this, this is the guys we're going to have. So we have to figure out a way to, to continue to come closer and uh, do whatever we have to do to try to, you know, get a win. We're going to be slow start, too. You guys got some red zone stops, but just – Overall, the team just seems sluggish over. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I just contribute to not executing the defense and, you know, really on all sides. Uh, I don't, you know, I know it's going to be a talk about the whole travel plans. I don't think it was have anything to do with that. We just, you know, they hit a play on third down, they hit a screen, caught us out in a zero blitz, and, you know, they made a play. But like you said, we were, we were able to get some stops in the red zone, which was really good. Um, I don't think we did well in the red zone on offense. And, uh, you know, had a turnover on special teams. You know, Kyle dropped the punt. He was able to get a field goal. That was a big stop, but he was able to get a field goal. So, um, you know, we're just not playing complimentary uh, football, which we're used to doing. 50% on third down, I think. Um, you can't survive that no matter how well you're doing the record. Nah, that's, that's not good enough for our standard. Um, <clears throat> that was a big thing we talked about uh, going into halftime is getting off the field on third downs. Like, obviously, we know we can get stops in the red zone, but we have to be able to get off the field on third downs because that's allowing them to continue to, you know, string drives together, string drives, string plays together. Uh, so we have to be better there. <clears throat> you to just make more plays generally? You've been on teams that have made a lot of plays before. Is there something that is common to those teams that maybe you're not seeing here? Or just kind of how is that different when you feel like you guys aren't making those plays? Yeah, I just don't think we're executing at a high level right now. Um, you know, at times we're not getting enough pressure on a quarterback. Um, we're not, you know, as far as on the back end, communicating very well, you know, but it, there are times that we were. I mean, we didn't give up any, we gave up three points in the second half. And I just feel like that first half, we weren't executing at a high level. And then I think we kind of settled into the game and uh, kind of start playing our style of defense. Uh, but yeah, it's just the togetherness. Um, you know, we had to find a way to start playing together, not just as a defense, but as an offense and as special teams, understanding how we had to win ball games. Is that something you noticed on practices or anything like that? That's just not 
<clears throat> no, I mean, it's, I can't say that I'm seeing it in practice because, you know, when you kind of get into a season, um, the way the practice are kind of set up, you know, you may be dealing with injuries sometimes. Every, every practice rep isn't full speed, so sometimes it's kind of tough to be able to replicate things that you're going to do in the game, but you try to do your best in practice. Um, it's just all about going out in the game and just executing and, and playing. You guys talked about amping up the turnovers. It was like an off-season theme. I know Sean managed to, to get one. Yeah. It's kind of on overthrow, but <clears throat> through six games, it doesn't seem like that's come to fruition. What's missing? No, it hasn't. Um, you know, that's something that I've been, you know, trying to figure out ways to get turnovers. I mean, I understand, you know, being a safety and, and being in this league for a while, you know, they come in bunches. And sometimes, you know, when you press to make turnovers, you make mistakes. Uh, you know, I think it starts with trying to affect the quarterback, making the quarterback uncomfortable and forcing them to make mistakes. And that's how you capitalize on turnovers. Um, but, yeah, we have to get more turnovers, whether if it's, you know, fumbles, you know, hitting the guy hard enough to make the ball come out or getting some interceptions off some tip passes and things like that. It just hasn't materialized for us just yet. Um, but, you know, the sky still isn't falling as bad as it feels. Uh, definitely it's a frustrated locker room for sure. We're two and four. Um, but, you know, it's still early in the year. We're not, you know, flushing this season down the toilet just yet. Do you feel like that pressing to make turnovers is happening? Or is it kind of hypothetical there? At times, yeah, even for myself, honestly. Like, trying to find a ways to re ever get off the field, get a turnover, um, you know. But, you know, that's just, you know, I have to be, you know, in my mind to make sure that I'm not pressing too much to try to get a turnover, trying to force a play to make, you know, force a play to happen. You know, you just have to let plays come to you. Yeah, I mean, you never want to see when your teammates get hurt. Um, all you're going to do is wish the best for them, and um, hopefully it's nothing serious. Hopefully you'll be able to cover quick and, and, and get back with us. At what point did you know he might not be able to finish? Um, I, I really didn't know. I mean, I know he... I was hurting a little bit during the game, but I didn't know how serious it was until we came out of the game. How did you feel like the game was turning in the second half? And, and I explain maybe why maybe the sluggish start to pitch in such a hole. Um, yeah, I, mean, I feel like we had momentum in the second half, um, put some plays together. Um, and, you know, we just didn't finish most of them with, with, uh, with six points in the end zone. And um, that's just on us with execution, and, and they were the better team. You feel like you guys are having a little bit of an identity crisis there? It seems like you can't hang your hat on, on some of the things you have in the past. No, I'm not getting into all that. I mean, we just we lost the game. We lost two straight. Um, come back to the drawing board, sit together. Because, um, you know, it's, it's, all it is is us, and, you know, we the one got to go out there and work every single day, trust, believe in, in one another. Um, we ain't pointing a finger at nobody. We just hold each other accountable and know what we got to do be able to turn it around. What do you feel like at the body? Do you think the body comes at the time where you can regroup and you feel like this team can, can change its fortunes in the second, with 11 games to go? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you got to get guys to be able to get some rest. Um, um, guys who need to get reps, get some reps, like, like Coach says, and, um, you know, just focus on improving. Um, while, while we have an off week, and then, you know, get away for a little bit and then come back ready to work. You talked about the red zone a lot this year. Just, do you feel like guys are pressing it all down there, or is it still just kind of small execution things? Not execute. I mean, it's all it comes down to. When you execute, you get points in the end zone. When you don't, you drive stalls. Considering you've had some of the same problems over and over again, Mike said probably, maybe, there were some things that aren't, aren't correctable on this team right now. Or if you talk to him and what his answer was, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, he's a head coach and, you know. I don't know. I just didn't want no turf burns. <laughs> that's all that was. Yeah. It never helps, you know, but, uh, you know, we started playing complimentary there. We started taking advantage of field position. We got some stops. Uh, we didn't get some you know, stops early. And, you know, again, we, we, we do some good things, and then we do some things that hurt us. So it's unfortunate, and uh, got to get it corrected. Uh, still evaluating them and, you know, wasn't able to finish. And, uh, again, we've been through this before. Nothing good comes of when the quarterback gets hit. What went into the decision to put MPS on? I wanted to give him an opportunity, you know, kind of see, you know, where that was. I don't to look at the tape and see it. 
See, see who uh, who gives us the best chance at, at every position, not only there, but you know something that I uh, just felt like at that time uh, that, that I wanted to do. Is that Kyle deciding to field a punt right before the half, or is that a, something instructed him to do? Uh, I you know, would expect us to, to catch the punt and make a great decision back there. And again, you know, um, we got a lot of faith in Kyle, and, but you know, we we can't make that mistake there at the end there, and I have to you know, figure out why. But also, you know, there's expectations that, that when we're going to catch him, we want to catch him. Is it leaving it untouched? Yeah, it's probably the best play is just to to let that one go, and I'll figure out why and make sure that the communication is there. But. You know, I don't think that was the, you know, I'm proud of the defense from the red zone. You know, there, there were things that we did not do very well, and whether they got down there because of the, the decision on the, the execution on, on the punt return or, you know, our, our own doing on third down. Uh, but, but that uh, showed a lot here from our, from our defense in the red zone. Did Ryan, make, did Ryan make the choice to count himself? Or was there I, I don't really get, you know, I mean, I was with the defense and, I think it was you know, hard for him to be able to execute some of the stuff, at least from what I was seeing, and then went over to defense. And, um, you know, Todd came up and said that he you know, was having a hard time. And I, I knew he was having a hard time. And so we were talking about doing some different things, uh, you know, in the gun or you know, what his mobility was going to look like. And certainly don't want to you know, put him in, in harm's way, have the ability not to be able to. To, to protect himself. Would you think the interception is a result? Mark? I don't know that. I know that that was uh, underthrown, but I, you know, it would be hard for me to tell you. It was it was underthrown and probably had something to do with it. Was but it caught because of the extra you made in a difficult stadium? And he was taking uh, again, I, all I know is that when Todd comes up and says, you know, Ryan's out, um, you know, we get the next guy ready. When you, when you, when you, Go back and look at this tape. I mean, he made some plays in the second half. Again, first half is where it hurts you. How do you explain that? Well, I mean, third down, we have to be better on third down. How do I explain it? I don't know. I mean, we talked about starting fast. We, you know, focused on trying to be ready, you know, mentally prepared 90 minutes before the game. Um, you know, we just you know, I have to be able to make some plays early, earlier in the football game in, in, in all three phases. I mean, I think we were all, you know, I mean, we had a lot of moving parts there with a lot of guys down, and, and we're back to that. So once you put yourself down two scores, it's difficult. How did you feel like the defense did give opportunities holding the Ravens in the end zone? Well, the red zone was good, I think, you know, we, but uh, we, we need to play better third down defense. We need to tackle the quarterback better and, um, you know, affect them. Uh, we came through with a, a couple plays, and the, the red zone was, was really, really critical to keep this thing close um, or give ourselves a chance. But you know, third down has to be better. You're talking about, about correcting things. It's not dissimilar to things you've been saying. Mm -hmm. Frustrated with the repetition? Uh, frustrated with things? losing. Frustrated with losing. Yeah. Some things unable to be corrected? Probably. What you have? Maybe. I mean, we'll see. But not going to. Stop trying. I'm not going to stop um, trying to prepare them and, and teach them and fundamentals and execution. Um, yeah. There'll there'll be some good plays in there, and you know there'll be certainly the ones in there that we have to eliminate uh, that, that that are getting us beat. When you said Simmons after the, I guess questionable whether that should have been flagged or not, but he gets flagged. Second guy in. Yeah. Second guy in. I mean, we can. We all saw the replay. I mean, he knees him, but. They're going to get the second guy. So that's what that's what I've told them for five and a half years now, that, that, that they're going to catch the second guy, Jimmy. That what's hasn't your, changed. What's your identity now, Mike? What can this team hang its hat on? Um, well, I mean, I think we're going to always hang our hat on effort, finish. You know, we, we're going to continue to to play physical. Um, but but you got to win. You know, I mean, these things have to, you have to, you have to win. And you guys know that. And uh, when you start winning, uh, then you have an identity, and you know, we, we're, we're close at times. And you know, hit a play, hit an next play, got it down there, uh, found a way to. You know, we, we got to be better in the red zone, and we, when we know that, that's when you know, had another double-digit drive that ended in a field goal. So that's frustrating. Things that we talked about. Is that basically the same thing that you tell them after a game like this? I didn't tell them much. I told them we're going to watch tape Tuesday morning at nine o'clock. That, that we need to get home and. Uh, and, and get back to work and, and figure out how we how we improve.
What would your message be like? Six games in, 11 games left, coming up to five. What do you tell guys maybe at this juncture here to here? To I mean, I'm not going to come up with that five minutes after this game, Jimmy. I'm going to get home, try to get these guys as healthy as possible, figure out who needs uh, what here in the next couple days. Some guys will need some recovery. Some guys will need treatment. Some guys will need reps. Some guys need to go and practice, and everybody's going to be in a different category. That Derek Wildcat play in the first half where MPF gets penalized, what, what happened there? Was that an execution issue or a misunderstanding of the rules? Uh, we had a guy go down and uh, wanted to try to, yeah. thought that that play was going was to help us, and Nick was just a little too close to, uh, I, I guess, to the guy on the line of scrimmage. Nick, Nick reported eligible and uh, it's a little too tight. Regardless of Ryan's health, are you at a point where you might consider looking at Malik or Will? I would consider anything that can help us win right now, and that's quarterback, uh, you know, ev everything. You know what I mean? But you know, I wouldn't say that that would be something that, you know, let's find out what's going on with Ryan. Man, you have to ask him. I just, you know, whether we, whatever we wear, you know, we got to be able to execute and do our job. Whether we wear gloves, whether we wear cleats, turf shoes, long sleeve shirt, tape, no tape. Like this is, it's pro football. We got to go out there and execute with, with whatever we wear. And just a last question: There was no injury involved with the last couple of drives. Well, the last couple of drives, Derek got. Yeah, it, we're, we're throwing a football. We're down 11 points, and you know, we threw it at the Tajay and got it down there. So you guys don't see a lot of us, but Derek's uh, very critical to to our success. And when we have success, he, he helps us in a run game. He helps us uh, play action pass. But uh, you know, when we get into those two minute uh, hurry up modes, you know, that's that's usually going to fall on Tajay or another player. So that's kind of where. Things went with, with Derek there at the end of the game. How did Harold wind up on, on Flowers? Well, the, the quarterback probably five or six seconds into the play, you know, playing cover four down there, and you know, he's out there standing there. It wasn't like he was not on a go ball. Last one, Chris, after the hit, just how's he doing? That looks like a pretty need to check in on him, you know. Saw him right afterwards, but.